Okay, I'm a little annoyed. And yes, sorry, I haven't been uh, uploading again. I explained in my previous video that I couldn't upload or like I was too busy. Couldn't be bothered pretty much <laughs> to upload a video because I was moving. And I'm almost done. Everything's pretty much set up. But I'm annoyed about one thing and it's just fucking pissing me off, man. My recording. I uh, honestly planned to upload a video yesterday, but... Uh, uh, I'm editing the footage now, and listening to it is horrible. Like, this is the audio of the video. Welcome, everyone, to another video. That what you're hearing in the background is my goddamn air conditioner. And it's, it's louder than a screaming fucking woman. So, I, I literally can't use my air con then when I'm recording or streaming in the future. Son of a bitch, all right? I, I can't actually like, it's too loud. It's, it's one of those small ones, all right? It's not the big one. So it's gonna have a little bit of, a little bit of volume to it. <laughs> so obviously I'm not gonna fucking release that video or just upload that video with that audio. It's, it's too much. It's, it's too loud and obnoxious. So it's gonna re, I'm just gonna re, you know, record it or just voice it again but basically to recap everything that's happened while i've been away um i moved everything's pretty much set up i bought a smart desk that goes up and down because hell yeah <laughs> um have carpet in my room installed carpet in my room moved my bed installed everything pretty much but i couldn't really do anything until my vacuum came and now that it's now that it's here, I've uh, cleaned my room to a good amount, but for some reason, the more I vacuum, the more dirt there's still in the carpet. Like, I vacuumed three times at the same spots, there's still dirt sometimes. Jesus Christ, and that's annoying. But I'm not gonna get into how carpets work or how, uh, like how well I vacuum. I, it's not my vacuum, my, my vacuum is the best vacuum in the, uh, for 2021, alright? I did my research. If you're curious to know what my vacuum is, it's the Dyson V15 Detect. It's, a, it's the best cordless vacuum out right now. Or that I've, you know, Googled. But that aside, almost finished setting up my uh, room. Just waiting for a few things like uh, RGB light bulbs, RGB smart light bulbs, uh, another curtain because apparently my curtain was a little bit too short and I need a longer one. Um, not that much really going on, not that much really going on, and I just spent the entire time farming and anime fighting, and uh, to keep you updated, right now I am, I am 4UD Demon King, just unlocked Demon King pretty recently. Now we're gonna talk about, uh, now we're gonna talk about a few things in this video that I wanted to talk about, but I couldn't because the audio was obnoxious and it was 23 minutes long the recording so i'm just gonna brush it up short since i talk way too much <laughs> honestly since i remember all the points i needed to say anyway this video is about the best powers and specials in anime fighting and now keep in mind um i'm preferably just talking about pvp um honestly it's there every power there's there's like there is no specific good power for bosses or just like or other powers in general because it's just spam <laughs> Like any power works for bosses. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just throw any power at it Unless it's only unless the power is special is only for players. You just spam power. So it doesn't matter I'm not even gonna talk about like boss powers. Like what's the best one? It doesn't matter. All right, just spam powers There's no fast way to kill it. The fastest way is spamming. All right, period <laughs> Okay, there's no there's no secret hint to killing bosses really quick just fucking spam it same for dungeons all right spam powers that's it that's it that's how you kill them. but players killing players are different they're a little bit harder to kill because uh they have a brain you know um sometimes they do uh unless you're killing afks in which case fuck you um and if you're in my server doing that shit i'll murder you but that aside, the players are very different, and that's what uh, it's better to focus on, in my opinion. So let's get that straight out of the way. Um, powers in this game are a little bit hard. Most of these powers in this game, you know, uh, aren't meant for players, I guess you could say. Like, uh, there's a few powers in this game that are actually good against players. Um, not every power will be, 
So I'm gonna tell you just right away which, well, it's complicated actually, because I won't be giving you an actual like power or special that's like the top because this game will update, you know, again and again and again. And my video can't update again and again and again. And I'm not gonna plan to make fucking repeated videos every time about topics like this. So I'm just gonna teach you guys how to fish out the best power or specials in this game. And there's videos that I've watched already about this topic or people explaining it. One video I've watched of Zach Cool, this guy, explaining the best power and special. But um, although his information is good, like the, the information in general is good, it's not very practical of what he says. Like it's just not good enough. This game will update and whatever like power he says is better will change in the future that's just the way it is this game is will, will continue to add powers and stronger champions like alcasa came out with stupid training numbers training percentages so i'm assuming the next update there will be fucking the same thing like that but for chakra and speed whatever they'll have some crazy ass powers that we aren't even ready to foresee so what i'm gonna do instead is literally teach you how to find the best power specials in this game and it's for pvp of course and it's pretty easy um, I know I couldn't think of it myself, but I'm gonna be pretty fast about this. It's only three things you need to know This video will be quick first off is cooldown cooldown is the most important thing in this game when it concerns powers or specials Your cooldown is what literally determines your DPS or damage per second Kind of doesn't matter, you know if you're doing to bosses because like I said just spam powers, you know boom DPS Stonks all right. It's just up there but for specials, it's different because um, you, you don't get the half cooldown game pass. It doesn't half the cooldown for specials, um, only for powers. So for specials, it's kind of important. So that's something to keep in mind. Always check the cooldown. You know, it's easy to check the cooldown of your special or the specials or the specials cooldown. Just literally time it the moment you press the ability or the moment your body says the resting tag thing. Just start timing at that point and wait for it to disappear stop the timer and that's how long the cooldown is and you should also include casting time don't exclude it okay it's part of it but yeah make sure you look for low cooldown powers that will pretty much determine your its worthiness i would say um next up is what type of attack does it do? Is it, uh, does it attack the nearest player? You know, just, you just press the ability and you just teleport to the nearest player. That's what determines a good power too. Like Jet Quirk, I'll give you a couple like, uh, Radioactive Z, Pyro, Severed Universe, X. You know, just powers in general that bring you to the player without you having to really click anything or do anything. You know, you just go to the player. It targets the nearest or closest, which is, the most important thing to look for an ability because most specials and powers don't offer that <laughs> and there's too many to explain right i'm not going to give you a, a full list of what powers do that you can you know do that yourselves but keep in mind this is what's going to kill a player you know easily if you're capable of attacking the nearest or the closest next up is point and click uh powers that require your mouse or your touch you know, you just like you tap at the player, you click at the player, mouse target abilities. Uh, those are pretty good too, because uh, you could just click them and depending on how accurate you click or, not, or how laggy the server is, <laughs> uh, will determine if you kill them or not. And uh, that's good too. The rest of the powers don't usually offer that. The rest of the powers, aside from what I, the two that I mentioned, uh, attack closest and target abilities, the rest are just like abilities that damage around you or just have directional damage like final shrine it just fucking attacks like facing you like in a linear path vibration wave in a linear path right in front of your body the rest are like that too just like some aoe stuff those are usually for bosses uh nothing really more the only time i see it really useful is if you're like doing tournament i guess and in that case spam powers but but like I said, be sure to look out for abilities that actually require your click or attack the nearest because it's what's often gonna make you live or just, you know, make you 
uh, survive, man, against other players or just kill them as fast as you can. Like if you're trying to assassinate someone, you know, you don't want to waste time. Boom. These abilities are going to matter the most. So keep it. So do look out for abilities that are capable of this. The third thing I would say is scaling and um, damage type. Keep in mind when you start this game, there's three stats um, or four, I guess you could say. There's four stats or three damage types you can main, which is chakra, sword, or strength. Now, in my personal opinion, if you haven't watched my video, go check that out, which I um, explain which is better to train first, which stat is the best to train. Oops. Go look for that video that where I explain which stat is the best to train, dura or chakra. Basically, I boiled it down to dur durability and chakra, which are the best stats in this game. But if you don't want to watch that video, my basic end result was chakra. I am a chakra main for a few reasons, um, despite any other you know stat in this game. And that's because of the powers you're just more versatile with. There's a lot more chakra powers for you in your arsenal that you can use uh, just uh, other than like sword or strength but you know people could argue that you don't really need that much powers but it's better to have a lot you know it's better to have options <laughs> you, you can't like because other people that main strength or sword they can usually only use like three or two abilities you know three to four at best well chalk remains you know use up to 20 or some shit and most specials in this game as well are chakra based it all depends on you but if you were to start this game and uh, and i'd give you a recommendation you should probably train chakra first like all the time all the time first and main that as your damage type because most powers in this game are chakra based but apart from that, you can ultimately not listen to me at all <laughs> when it comes to this shit. You can choose strength, you know, whatever you want to. Um, but keep in mind, your damage scaling will depend on your stat type that you train the most. So if you have one OC strength and all your, you know, stats are shit, um, you'll only be doing damage to the stat that you have one OC with. Um, this is completely pointless for tournament or bosses, but it's still part of my argument, which is scaling. Always check for how much scaling or how much damage or how much the multiplier damage is for the ability that you're using. So if a power does, you know, 50 OC, uh, just divide that by how much actual stat damage you have, then, you know, you'll get the scaling. Now this matters uh, despite your stat because it'll still scale off tournament and stuff. You know, they, they all have different numbers, but you want to choose the highest scaling ones. And, you know, usually you just have to go to the wiki to find this out. Sometimes the wiki is wrong, uh, very wrong. Sometimes, uh, I don't know, they're, they're getting pretty lazy that wiki. But, you know, if you want to really like crunch the numbers yourself and actually figure out the best damage, you just got to do the math yourself. Um, keep in mind sometimes the math isn't right. I don't know how this game calculates the damage at all. Like if you have Nova and a champion, like sometimes it's not really correct. The multipliers or like the total damage you should be dueling, dueling, <laughs> doing, all right? Something that's different. So just keep that in mind. That's all I pretty much have to talk about. God damn it, it still turned out longer than I thought, <laughs> but that's, that's it. There's nothing really more I can say, I think. Yeah, I think there's nothing really more I can say. But uh, yeah, that's that's it. See ya. <laughs>